हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला द करंट मॉड्यूल डिस्कस एनिमल डाइवर्सिटी ऑरिजन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन द थ्री डोमेन क्लासिफिकेशन थ्री ऑफ लाइफ द थ्री डोमेन सिस्टम इज ए बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाई कार्ल ओस एट ऑल इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सेवन द डिवाइड्स सेल्युलर लाइफ and eukaryotic domains tree of life is based in part on sequence comparisons of rrna genes or rdna the current module deals with the table of the following contents three domain classification as tree of life animal classifications based on cellular organization symmetry number of germ layers body cavity presence or absence of notochord embryonic development and segmentation overall animal classification description of animal phyla salient features of different phyla in the animal kingdom evolutionary origin of animals animal germ layers and their derivatives larval forms of various animals threatened list of animals of india state animals and birds the current diagram depicts the three domains of life forms one is the rk domain which consists of methanobacterium halophiles thermophiles sulfolobus bacteria the other domain is the bacterial domain which consists of green non sulfur bacteria spirochetes chlamydia green sulfur bacteria cyanobacteria mitochondrion and plastids the third and the most elaborate domain is of eukarya which consists of protists including leishmania trypanosomes euglena diatoms dinoflagellates ciliates forams it also includes red algae and green algae it includes land plants animals and fungi the animal classification is based on various parameters such as cellular organization symmetry number of germ layers body cavity presence or absence of notochord embryonic development cellular organization animal kingdom is divided into two sub kingdoms protozoa and metazoa protozoa are defined as single celled eukaryotic organisms and metazoa are multicellular eukaryotic organisms the sub kingdom metazoa is further subdivided into two branches parazoa and eumetazoa in parazoa cells are arranged as loose cell aggregates that is they exhibit cellular level of organization absence of tissues or organ system of level of organization the example of this class is phylum porifera eumetazoa is a clad comprising all other major animal phyla except porifera embryo gets layered during gastrulation exhibit either tissue or organ system level of organization in the tissue level of organism organization in phylum nidaria and tenophora the arrangement of cells is more complex here the cells performing the same function are arranged into tissues organ level of organization organ level is exhibited by members of platyhelminthes and other higher phyla where tissues are grouped together to form organs each specialized for a particular function now based on symmetry animals can be categorized on the basis of their symmetry as well asymmetry sponges are mostly asymmetrical that is any plane that passes through the center does not divide them into equal halves radial symmetry when any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the organism into two identical halves it is called radial symmetry nidarians tenophores and echinoderms have this kind of body plan in phylum echinodermata larval stages are bilaterally symmetrical and adult stages are radially symmetric now bilateral symmetry animals like annelids arthropods where the body can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane exhibit bilateral symmetry now based on the number of germ layers as well animals are classified in all the animals except sponges 
the embryo becomes layered during gastrulation. As development progresses, these layers called germ layers form the various tissues and organs of the body. Diploblastic animals, animals in which the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers, an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm are called diploblastic animals. For example, nidarians and tenophores. An undifferentiated layer mesoglia or mesohyll is present in between the ectoderm and the endoderm in this phyla. Triploblastic animals, those animals in which the developing embryo has a third germinal layer that is mesoderm in between the ectoderm and endoderm are called triploblastic animals. Examples include phyla from platyhelminthes to chordates. Now, based on the presence or absence of a cavity between the body wall and the gut wall, animals are also classified into coelomates. Mostly triploblastic animals have a body cavity, a fluid or air filled space located between the digestive tract and the outer body wall. This body cavity is also called a coelom. Animals possessing coelom are called coelomates. The example of this classification are phyla annelids, mollusks, arthropods, echinoderms, and chordates. Pseudocelomates. In some animals, the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm. Instead, the mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm. Such a body cavity is called pseudocelome, and the animals possessing them are called pseudocelomates. The example of this classification is the phyla ascalmenthes. Acylomates, the animals in which the body cavity is absent are called acylomates. The example is the phyla platyhelminthes. Now, based on the presence or absence of notochord as well, the classification of animals is done. Notochord is a mesodermally derived rod like structure formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals. Non chordates are those animals which do not form notochord structure. For example, porifera to echinoderms. Chordates, there are four key characteristics of chordates. A notochord, a dorsal hollow nerve cord, pharyngeal slits or clefts, and a muscular post anal tail. Now, based on embryonic development, many animals can be described as having one of two developmental modes, protostome development or det deuterostome development. These modes can generally be distinguished by differences in cleavage, coelom formation, and fate of the blastopore. Protostome development begins with spiral determinate cleavage. The coelom forms from splits in the mesoderm and the mouth forms from the blastopore. Protostomes include the phyla, mollusca, annelida, and arthropoda. Deuterostomes? Deuterostome development is characterized by radial indeterminate cleavage. Coelom forms from mesodermal outpocketings of the archenteron and the mouth is formed secondarily. Anus develops from the blastopore. Deuterostomes include the phyla, echinodermata, and chordata. Kindly go through this slide where Animalia is classified as Parazoa and Eumetazoa. Now, Eumetazoa is further subdivided into radial and bilateral symmetric animals. The radial symmetry is again of diploblastic animals, nidaria and tenophores. The bilateral symmetry is exhibited by triploblastic animals, which again are divided into protostomes and deuterostomes. Protostomes include acylomates, pseudocelomates, coelomates. Deuterostomes include coelomates. And among the coelomates, you have echinodermata and chordata. The chordata is further classified as cephalochordata, urochordata, and vertebrata. Vertebrata is further classified as Pisces and tetrapods. Pisces include chondrichthyes and osteichthyes. Tetrapods are again classified as amphibians, reptiles, apes, and mammals. Now, let us look at the description of each phyla, the salient features of each phyla. Porifera, they are otherwise known as sponges, lack true tissues, they have cells called coenocytes which ingest bacteria and tiny food particles. Body is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules or sponging fibers. The sexes are not separate and reproduce asexually by fragmentation and sexually by formation of gametes. Examples 
of this phyla includes Cycon, Spongilla, Euspongia. Now the phylum Tenophora are otherwise known as comb jellies. The salient features include eight rows of ciliated combs or teens. Bioluminescence is well marked in tenophores. Reproduction takes place only by sexual means. The examples of this phyla include Pleurobrachia and Tenoplana. Phylum Nidaria. They have unique stinging structures called nematocysts housed in specialized cells called nidocytes. Corals have a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate. Nidarians exhibit two basic body plan forms called polyp and medusa. Those nidarians which exist in both forms exhibit alternation of generations called as metagenesis, example being obelia. The examples of this phyla include Physalia, Adamsia, Panatula, Gorgonia and Meandrina. Now platyhelminthes or otherwise flatworm phyla, a central nervous system that processes information from sensory structures. They have specialized cells called flame cells which help in osmoregulation and excretion. Development is through many larval stages. Some members like planaria possess high regeneration capacity. Examples of this phyla include Tainia and Fasciola. Phyla nematoda, they are otherwise known as round worms. Cylindrical pseudocelomates with tapered ends and they also undergo ecdysis. Elementary canal is complete with a well-developed muscular pharynx. An excretory tube removes body waste from the body cavity through the excretory pore. The examples of this phyla include Ascaris, Ucheraria, Encylostoma, that is hookworm. Now phylum Annelida or otherwise known as segmented worms. They consist of segmented body wall known as metamers and internal organs except digestive tract which is unsegmented. Aquatic annelids like Neris possess lateral appendages, parapodia which help in swimming. Nephridia help in osmoregulation and excretion. Reproduction is sexual. The examples of this phyla include Neris, Ferretima and Hirudinaria. Now phylum mollusca is the second largest animal phylum. Body parts include muscular foot, visceral mass, mantle, the coelom is reduced in this phyla. Most have hard shell made of calcium carbonate, the mantle cavity in which feather like gills are present. The mouth contains a file like rasping organ for feeding called radula. The examples of this phyla include pila, sepia, loligo, octopus, aplysia, dentalium and catoplura. Phylum arthropoda is the largest and the most diverse phylum of animalia. They have segmented body, jointed appendages and exoskeleton made of protein and chitin. The body consists of head, thorax and abdomen. Respiratory organs are gills, book gills, book lungs or tracheal system. Circulatory system is of open type which is bathed in a fluid called hemolymph. Sensory organs like antennae, eyes which are both compound and simple are existing. Statosis or balance organs are present. Excretion takes place through malfeasan tubules. The examples include insects such as Epis, Bombyx, Lacifer, vectors such as Anopheles, Culex, Aedes and gregarious pests include Locusta and Limulus. Phylum Echinodermata. The adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical but larvae are bilaterally symmetrical. The most distinctive feature of echinoderms is the presence of water vascular system which helps in locomotion, capture and transport of food and respiration. An excretory system is absent. Examples of this phyla include Asterias, Echinus, Antidon, Cucumeria and Opira. Chordata is characterized by the presence of a notochord, a dorsal hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits. It is again subclassified into urochordata and cephalochordata are often referred to as protochordates. In urochordata, notochord is present only in larval tail while in cephalochordata it extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout their life. The examples of urochordata include acidia, salpa and doliolum. The examples of cephalochordate includes branchiostomes that is amphioxus and lancelets. Now tetrapods include Pisces, 
And under Pisces, there are two classes, Chondrichthyes and Oxtichthyes. Chondrichthyes, notochord is persistent throughout life. Gill slits are separate and without operculum. The skin is tough, containing minute placoid scales. Due to the absence of air bladder, they have to swim constantly to avoid sinking. Heart is two chambered in this class, one auricle and one ventricle. Some of them have electrical organs such as torpedo and some possess poisonous stinging that is example of trigon. They are cold blooded animals which are otherwise also known as poikilothermous animals, i.e. they lack the capacity to regulate their body temperature. Many of them are viviparous. The examples of this class include scoliodon, pristis, carcarodon and trigon. Now the other class of Pisces include Ostichthyes. It includes both marine and freshwater fishes with bony endoskeleton. They have four pairs of gills which are covered by an operculum on each side. Air bladder is present which regulates buoyancy. They are mostly oviparous in nature. The examples of this class include Hippocampus, Exocetus, uh, the freshwater labio, Cutla, Clarius, the aquarium based fishes such as Beta and Pterophyllum. Now class Tetrapoda includes amphibians. The body is divisible in head and trunk. The amphibian skin is moist without scales. The eyes have eyelids. A tympanum represents the ear. Elementary canal, urinary and reproductive tracts open into a common chamber called cloaca which opens to the exterior. Respiration is by gills, lungs and through skin. The heart is three chambered in most of the reptiles, two auricles and one ventricle. These are cold blooded animals and are oviparous in nature. Examples of this class include Bufo, Rana, Hyla, Salamandra and Ichthyopis. Class Reptilia includes animals where body is covered by dry and cornified skin, epidermal scales or scutes. They do not have external ear openings, tympanum represents ear. Heart is usually three chambered but four chambered in crocodiles. Reptiles are mostly poikilotherms. Snakes and lizards shed their scales as skin cast. They are also oviparous in nature. Examples of this class include Chelon, Testudo, Chameleon, Calotes, Crocodilus, Alligator, Hamidactylus, Poisonous Snakes including Naja, Bangaras, Vipera, etc. Now class Aves is a special class with many salient features. The presence of feathers and most of them can fly except flightless birds, for example ostrich. The forelimbs are modified into wings. The hind limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking, swimming or clasping the tree branches. Skin is dry without glands except the oil gland at the base of the tail. Endoskeleton is fully ossified and the long bones are hollow with air cavities otherwise known as pneumatic bones. The digestive tract of bird has additional chambers, the crop and gizzard. Heart is completely four chambered in case of aves, they are warm blooded homeothermous animals that is they are able to maintain a constant body temperature in sync with the external environment. They are oviparous in nature. Examples include Corvus, Columba, Cetacula, Struthio, Pavo, Appendocyte and Neophron. Now class Mammalia, the most unique mammalian characteristic is the presence of milk producing glands that is the mammary glands by which the young ones are nourished. The skin of the mammals is unique in possessing hair, external ears or pinnae are present, different types of teeth are also present in the jaw. Heart is four chambered, they are homothermous, they are viviparous in nature. However, ornithorhynchus is oviparous uh, in these animals. The other animals are viviparous including Macropus, Teropus, Camelus, Macaca, Rattus, Canis, Felis. Eliphas, Equus, Delphinus, and Panthera tigris and Panthera leo. Now, coming to the evolutionary origin of animals. The history of animals spans more than half a billion years. Fossil biochemical evidence and molecular clock analysis indicate that 
animals arose over 700 million years ago. Genomic analysis suggests that key steps in the origin of animals involved new ways of using proteins that were encoded by genes found in coenoflagellates. The following table provides an overview of how animals evolved from their distant common ancestors over four geological eras. The Neoproterozoic era consists of period Ediacaran. The important events of this period include radially symmetric invertebrate animals appearance. Paleozoic era includes periods Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous and Permian. In the Cambrian period, the important events include sudden increase in diversity of mini animal phyla, which we call it as Cambrian explosion. In the Ordovician period, colonization of land by animals, invertebrates dominated during this period. During the Silurian period, radiation of crinoids occurred, a continued proliferation and expansion of the brachiopods and the oldest known fossils of coral reefs. This period also marks the wide and rapid spread of jawless fish. During the Devonian period, diversification of bony fishes took place, first tetrapods and insects appeared. During the Carboniferous period, reptiles originated and amphibians dominated the land. During the Permian period, radiation of reptiles took place, origin of most present day groups of insects, extinction of mini marine and terrestrial organisms, at the end of the period. Now the Mesozoic era is again divided into Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous period. The Triassic period, the important events include the evolution of dinosaurs and their radiation. And also it is marked by the origin of mammals. The Jurassic period, dinosaurs were abundant and diversified. In the Cretaceous period, dinosaurs became extinct at the end of the period. Finally, the Cenozoic era is again divided into Paleogene, Neogene and Quaternary periods. During the Paleogene period, major radiation of mammals, birds and pollinating insects took place. Origins of many primate groups also happened during this period. In Neogene period, continuous radiation of animals and appearance of bipedal human ancestors. And finally, in the Quaternary period, ice ages occurred and origin of genus Homo took place. So various body tissues have occurred from each germ layer of triploblastic animals. For example, the ectoderm is, has given rise to epidermis and epidermal derivatives such as hair, nails, tooth, enamel, mammary, sweat and sebaceous glands, epithelia of skin, ear, eye, nose, lower anal canal, cornea and lens of eye epithelium of anterior pituitary and sensory neuroreceptors, the neural tube, central nervous system, retina, neurohypophysis, pineal gland, astrocytes, oligodendrocytes. The neural crest includes connective tissue and bones of the face and skull, cranial nerve ganglia, C cells of thyroid gland, odontoblasts, dermis in face and neck, spinal ganglia, and preaortic ganglia, parasympathetic ganglia, adrenal medulla, squan cells, glial cells, melanocytes. Now the germ layer mesoderm give rise to paraxial mesoderm or somatic mesoderm. Now, the paraxial mesoderm or somatic mesoderm gives rise to sclerotom which forms cartilage, the syndotom which forms the tendon, the myotom which forms the skeletal muscle, the dermatom forms the dermis as well as skeletal muscle and endothelial cells. The head mesoderm includes connective tissue and the muscles of the face. The intermediate mesoderm gives rise to the parts of urogenital system, kidneys and gonads as well as the reproductive system. The lateral mesoderm gives rise to parietal and visceral layers. Mesoderm cells of the parietal layer form the mesothelial membranes or serous membranes which line the peritoneal, pleural and pericardial cavities. The visceral layer forms the walls of the gut tube. The germ layer endoderm gives rise to the entire elementary canal except part of the mouth, pharynx and the terminal part of the rectum. The lining cells of all the glands which open into digestive tube include those of the liver and pancreas, the trachea, bronchi and alveola of the lungs, the lining of the follicles of the thyroid gland and epithelial components of the thymus. 
the epithelium of the auditory tube and tympanic cavity and urinary bladder and part of the urethra. Now this current slide shows that across various phyla, various larval stages of these organisms exist. For example, porifera under which you have organs, cycon which has a larval form of amphibilastula, leucoselenia, the larval form is parenchymula, higher sponges, the larval form is ragon, aurelia or jellyfish, the larval form is planula or hydrotuba, obelia, sea anemone, the, the larval form is planula, anthozoa, the larval form is sempers larvae or cydipid larvae. In case of platyhelminthes, tenia, which has the larval form of hexacanth and onchospere. Fasciola has a larval form of cercaria, meracidium, metacercaria, radia, and sporocyst. Encylostoma has a larval form of filary form. In nematohelminthes, wucheraria have the larval form of microfilaria. Ascaris, that is the round worm, has the rhabditi form of larva. Neris has the larval form of trochophore. Among annelids, polygodius have the larva of lovens. Butterfly silk moth have the caterpillar larva. Lepus has nupilus cypress larva. Hermit crab has glocotho larva. Beetles and honeybee have the grub larva. Housefly has the maggot larva. Crab has the megalopa and zoya larva. Among arthropods, lobsters have schizopod or mysis larva, mosquitoes have wriggler larva, prawns have nopelius larva, saculina again has nopelius larva, limulus has trilobite larva, ticks and mice have hexapod larva, mayfly has neads. Among the mollusks, you have gastropods whose larva include trochophore. Further in echinoderms, the starfish has bipennaria larva and brachioloaria. The brittle star has opioplutus and echinus has echinoplutus. Among hemichordates, you have balanoglossus, which has the larval form of tornaria. Petromyzon has the larval form of emocete. And acidia has the larval form of acidian tadpole. Among chordates, you have frogs, which have the larval form of tadpoles. The salamanders, you uh, have the larval form of axolotls, and uh, the other minor larval forms are also listed in the current slide. The threatened list of animals of India include critically endangered animals, endangered animals, as well as vulnerable animals. Among the critically endangered animals, you have arthropods, including Rameshwaram parachute, spider, peacock tarantula. Among the endangered birds, you have great Indian bustard, forest owlet, Siberian crane, white rumped vulture, Indian vulture, slender billed vulture, Himalayan quail, red headed vulture, and sociable lapwing. Among the critically endangered fishes, you have Wayanad, Mahashir, Pondicherry shark, Ganges shark, and Kudremuk leptothorax, Deccan labio, and various uh, minnows, lake barb, common sawfish, large toothed sawfish. Tenura, Deccan barb, humpback masir. Among the critically endangered insects, uh, pygmy hog sucking louse is one of the most important uh, organisms to discuss. Then you have critically endangered reptiles and amphibians, which include red crowned roof to turtle, gharial, ghatswat frog, gepore ground gecko, gindia, Indian frog, toad skin frog, Charles Darwin's frog. Green eyed bush frog, Munar bush frog, Anamalai flying frog, and uh, Ghats wart frog. Among the critically endangered mammals, you have the Asiatic cheetah, which is now extinct from India, Namadafa flying squirrel, Himalayan wolf, Nicobar shrew, Northern Sumatran rhinoceros, Indian Javan rhinoceros, large spotted civet. Among the endangered animals, you have fish including Asian arowana, red line torpedo barb. Among the birds, you have narcondum hornbills. In reptiles, you have Assam roof turtles. Among the endangered animals, the most prominent are Asiatic lion, Bengal tiger, blue whale, central Kashmir vole, fin whale, 
Ganges river dolphin, hollow gibbons, Indian elephant, Indian tiger, Indian wild ass, lion tailed macaque, Nilgiri marten, Nicobar flying fox, palm rat, red panda, snow leopard, swamp deer, Tibetan antelope, water buffalo, wild goat. Among the vulnerable animals list, you have Bara Singha, Clouded Leopard, Indian Rhinoceros, Marbled Cat, Sperm Whale, Yak. Among the endangered reptiles and amphibians, you have the Oliver Ridley Sea Turtle. Now the current slide deals with the various state animals. The list goes, Andhra Pradesh state animal is Blackbug, Arunachal Pradesh, Gael, Assam, One Horned Rhinoceros, Bihar, Gore. Chhattisgarh, Asian Water Buffalo, Goa, Indian Bison, Gujarat, Asiatic Lion, Haryana, Black Buck, Himachal Pradesh, Snow Leopard, Jammu and Kashmir, Kashmir Stag, Jharkhand, Indian Elephant, Karnataka, Indian Elephant, Kerala, Indian Elephant, Madhya Pradesh, Bara Singha, Maharashtra, Indian Gain Squirrel, Manipur, Bro Antlered Deer, Meghalaya, Clouded Leopard, Mizoram, Sumatran, Cero, Nagaland, Indian Bison, Odisha, Sambar Deer, Punjab, Black Buck, Rajasthan, Camel, Sikkim, Red Panda, Tamil Nadu, Nilgiri Tar, Telangana, Spotted Deer, Tripura, you have Fairies Langur, Uttar Pradesh, Swam Deer, Uttarakhand, White Bellied Musk Deer, West Bengal, Fishing Cat, Delhi, Blue Bull, Lakshadweep, Butterfly Fish, Puducherry, Squirrel. Similarly, you also have state birds for each of the state. Andhra Pradesh, Indian Roller, Arunachal Pradesh, Great Hornbill, Assam, White Winged Duck, Bihar, House Sparrow, Chhattisgarh, Hill Maina, Goa, Flame Throated Bulbul, Gujarat, Great Flamingo, Haryana, Black Francorin, Himachal Pradesh, Western Trogapan, Jammu and Kashmir, Black Neck Crane, Jharkhand, Asian Coil, Karnataka, Indian Roller, Kerala, Great Hornbill again, Madhya Pradesh, Asian Paradise Flycatcher, Maharashtra, Yellow Footed Green Pigeon, Manipur, Hume's Pheasant, Meghalaya, Hill Maina, Mizoram, Mrs. Hume's Pheasant, Nagaland, Trogapan, Odisha, Indian Roller, Punjab, Northern Goshak, Rajasthan, Great Indian Bustard, Sikkim, Blood Pheasant, Tamil Nadu, Emerald Drove, Telangana, Indian Roller, Tripura, Great Imperial Pigeon, Uttar Pradesh, Saras Crane, Uttarakhand, Himalayan Monal, West Bengal, White Breasted Kingfisher, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Andaman Wood Pigeon, Chandigarh, Indian Grey Hornbill, Delhi, House Sparrow, Lakshadweep, Suti Tern, and Puducherry, the state bird is Asian Quail. I hope uh, in this module we have covered the animal diversity as well as the classification and the evolution of animals. I hope you have enjoyed this module. Thank you.